Hey learners, welcome back to Learn With Mike, where science is fun, simple, and all around us. Today, we're going to zoom in really close and talk about something super tiny. Cells. Yep, the little building blocks that make up everything that's alive, including you. So what exactly is a cell? A cell is the smallest unit of life. It's like a tiny living room where all the important life stuff happens, like growing, eating, cleaning, and even making babies, aka reproduction. Some living things, like bacteria, are just one big cell. Others, like humans, are made of trillions of cells. All cells, no matter how big or small, usually have a few things in common. Let's look at the key parts of a cell. First up is cell membrane. It is a flexible wall that lets things in or out of the cell. Next up is cytoplasm. It is the A jelly-like goop inside the cell. Next is DNA. DNA, kind of like the instruction book of life. Moving forward to ribosomes, tiny machines that make proteins. And lastly, a way to reproduce, multiply themselves, or make more cells. Something like this. Pretty cool, right? So there are two main types of cells, prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Let's explore both, starting with the simpler one. Prokaryotes are simple, tiny cells. The name means before nucleus, and that gives us a big clue. They don't have a nucleus at all. So what's a nucleus anyways? A nucleus is like the control center or brain of the cell. It's a little room inside the cell that keeps the DNA safe and organized. But prokaryotes don't have one. Instead, they have something called a nucleoid. What's a nucleoid? It's a special area inside the cell where the DNA floats around, kind of like a corner of a room where important papers are kept. But there are no walls around it. So let's compare. Nucleoid. DNA is not enclosed by a membrane. Just a spot in the cell found in prokaryotic cells. Simple and open. Nucleus has a protective membrane around the DNA. Found in eukaryotic cells, organized and secure. Prokaryotes are small, usually less than 5 micrometers and super simple. But they still do all the basic jobs of life just fine. Most bacterial prokaryotic cells have a cell wall that gives them shape and protection. Let's take a moment and look at the diagram. Some examples of prokaryotes are E. coli, this bacteria is found to live in your gut. Streptococcus, it's the sore throat germ. Lactobacillus, this bacteria helps make yogurt. And there's a cool group called Archaea. They can live in wild places like boiling hot springs and super salty lakes. Now, let's talk about eukaryotes. These are the fancier, more complex cells. The name means true nucleus, and yes, these cells actually have a nucleus. Remember the nucleus? It's like the brain or control center of the cell, where the DNA lives safely inside its own little room. But wait, there's more. Eukaryotic cells have special parts inside them called organelles. What are organelles? Think of them like tiny machines or tools inside the cell. Each one has a special job to do. Here are a few important ones. Mitochondria. This is the powerhouse of the cell. It makes energy so the cell can work. Endoplasmic reticulum, ER. It's like a factory that helps build proteins and fats. Golgi bodies. These are the mailroom sorting and shipping proteins to where they need to go. Lysosomes. These are the cleanup crew. They help break down waste in old parts of the cell. Let's look at a diagram. Every part is labeled. To clarify, the small orange dots are the ribosomes. Eukaryotic cells are bigger than prokaryotic cells and much more organized. They even have something called a cytoskeleton. It's like scaffolding or bones inside the cell that help it keep its shape. So who has eukaryotic cells? Lots of living things, like humans, dogs, cats, trees and plants, fungi like mushrooms, even protists, which are tiny, one-celled creatures like amoeba that live in water. So whether you're a human, a dog, a mushroom, or even a tiny amoeba, you are rocking some awesome eukaryotic cells. Here's a quick way to remember. Prokaryotic cells. 
do not have a nucleus or organelles. They are small, 0.1 to 5 micrometers. They are simple and can be found in bacteria and archaea. Eukaryotic cells do have a nucleus and many organelles. They are larger, 10 to 100 micrometers. They are more complex and can be found in plants, animals, etc. Easy, right? Now let's talk about why cells are important. Cells are super important because they do everything a living thing needs to stay alive. They help us grow, heal, and move. They work together to build tissues, organs, and even whole bodies. In other words, without cells, there would be no life. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching this science adventure on Learn with Mike. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with a friend who loves learning. Drop a comment with your favorite cell fact, and remember to always stay curious. See you next time, future scientists.